So now that we are in uh, this uh, private EC2 instance, I just wanna show you that it doesn't have any internet access. So if I was to ping something like Google, right? Okay, um, and I'm trying to get information here. Do you see how it's hanging and we're not getting uh, uh, a ping back? That's because there is no route to the internet. And so the way we're going to get a route to the internet is by uh, creating a, a NAT instance or a NAT gateway. Uh, generally, you want to use a NAT gateway. There are cases to use NAT instances. So if you were uh, trying to save money, you can definitely save money by having to manage a NAT instance by yourself. But we're going to learn how to do a NAT gateway because that's the way AWS wants you to go. Uh, and so back in uh, our console here, we are in EC2 instances where we're going to have to switch over um, to a VPC. Okay, because that's where the NAT gateway is. So on the left-hand side, um, we can scroll down and we are looking under a VPC. We have NAT gateways. And so we're going to launch ourselves a NAT gateway. NAT gateways do cost money, so uh, they're not uh, terribly expensive, but you know, we at the end of this, we'll, we'll tear it down, okay? And so um, the idea is that we need to uh, launch this NAT gateway in a public uh, VPC, uh, or sorry, public subnet. And so we're gonna have to uh, look here. I'm gonna launch it in the Bezier public A. It doesn't matter which one, just has to be one of the public ones. And we can also uh, create an uh, elastic IP here. Uh, I don't know if it actually is required assigned EPI to network. I don't know if it really matters, um, but uh, we'll try to go ahead and create this here without an EIP. No, it's required. So we'll just hit create uh, elastic IP there. And that's just a static IP address. Uh, so it's never changing, okay? And so now that we have that and it's associated with our NAT gateway, we'll go ahead and create that. And uh, it looks like it's been created. So once your NAT gateway is created, the next thing you have to do is edit your route table. So there actually is a way uh, for that VPC to, uh, or sorry, that private instance to access the internet, okay? So let's go ahead and edit that uh, route table. And so we created a private route table specifically for our, our private EC2. And so here we're going to edit the routes, okay? And we're going to add a route uh, for that private or for, uh, to that NAT gateway, okay? So um, we're just going to type in um, 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 forward slash zero, and we are then just going to go ahead. Yep, and then we're going to go ahead and choose our NAT gateway, and we're going to uh, select that there, and we're going to save that route. Okay, so now our NAT gateway is uh, configured, and so there should be a way for our instance to get to the internet. So let's go back and do a ping. And back over here um, in our private uh, EC2 instance, we're just gonna go ahead and ping uh, Google here. Okay, and we're gonna see if we get some uh, pings back, and we do, so there you go. That's all we had to do to access the internet, all right? So why would our uh, private EC2 instance need to reach the internet? Um, so we wouldn't want inbound traffic, but we definitely want outbound because we would probably want to update uh, packages on our EC2 instance. So if we did a sudo yum update, okay, we wouldn't be able to do this without a outbound connection, all right? So it's a way of like uh, getting access to the internet only for the things that we need for outbound connections, okay?